Uh, this is the name uh, uh, of uh, of uh, farm's uh, partisan, Grobari. Grobari. Yes. Do you know uh, what is mean Grobari? No. Grobari uh, is uh, the man uh, who uh, when uh, when the other men uh, die, uh, he uh, put put him uh, in in. Oh uh, uh, yeah yeah. Um, grave digger. Yes. Gypsy Mafia na traci. Castro. Yeah. This is Month to Beats production. Racism. Svako divje ista lafija. A šuna ko isto kula živina. Zaro sam dalo bar. Ako si jam Roma, nasi jam džukela. Dok ne više kahan kula. Pa sa te živina. So na puće na menge zari. A tu mendi kjen tomaro jebeno rola. So I am here in Belgrade, Serbia for an 18 hour layover. Uh, I got in at like 5 a.m. and my flight tonight is, I believe it's around 11.30 p.m. I have an idea about what I'm gonna do today. Let me go get some coffee first. Uh, can I just get a uh, cappuccino? Cappuccino, yes. Yeah, yeah. My Serbo-Croatian is terrible. I need to work on it. Belgrade is known to have a soccer rivalry between two teams. Those two teams are Partizan and Red Star. So this right here is just an example of what happens when these two teams play. It's freaking nuts. I'm not sure what the, the derby is called. I'll film the name of the derby here. Uh, but anytime, anytime these two teams play each other, it's just mayhem in the stands. Passion is awesome, but it, it turns into complete chaos. And for that reason, it's it's known around the world, one of the craziest rivalries. Hey, question for you. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a footballer, yeah? You're a footballer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where and do you, play? Where do you play? Well, and here I am, I'm a football player. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh, but I'm interested in uh, in Red Star and Partisan. What I thought about doing was I wanted to show like my audience, you know, go, go to the stadiums and kind of show them that, and show them the you culture. Go, you want to go to, sta to the stadium? Can I do that? You know that? Where is? No, but no. I could go, yeah? Yes, no problem. Great. This is my building. Uh huh. My building. Yeah, yeah. This is a bus station. Go 14. 14 bus? 14. Okay. Get you. Okay. Get you. Bye bye. The guy in the cafe just said just to go to the bus station and take the bus to the uh, stadiums, so that's what I'm gonna do. I took my bags and I dropped them off at the Marriott Courtyard so that way I can move around the city a little bit better. I'm in a taxi now. I'm headed to Red Star Stadium and then maybe I'll, I'll walk over and see if I can uh, check out Partisan Stadium. I want to get a jersey, I want to talk to some people and uh, know more about this rivalry here in the city. <laughs> Okay, Havala. So I just got to Red Star Stadium. Let's see if I can do some kind of tour here, maybe by myself, but I just want to show you guys this. My taxi driver, who's awesome, is going to try and help me get into the stadium so I can do a tour and check it out. So I'm waiting for the stadium official to come up and he's going to take me and show me around, but um, this is where their, the professional team plays here in Belgrade. Uh, I can't believe I'm getting a tour. I don't know how my, my taxi driver hooked that up, but check this out. Yeah. 
Right, so I'm here now in the stadium uh, of where Red Star plays, the, one of the professional teams here in Belgrade. Um, and as, as you can see that area right over there, uh, this is where their, their main fan section is. Um, this is the, the, the fan group that usually breaks out um, with uh, chants and slogans and sometimes even throwing chairs and crazy things like that when it gets out of hand, um, generally against the, the, uh, their rivals who are, are partisan um, Belgrade, which is the other professional team here in the city. So you have the Delie and then you have the Grobari, um, and those are essentially the, the two fan bases of the teams. It's crazy seeing all of that over there with uh, chairs, some chairs are missing and there's a whole bunch of graffiti uh, that lines the back of the stadium there. It's, just, it's crazy being here and seeing this. Uh, I've heard what you said. Yeah, yeah. A couple minutes ago. Yeah. Chairs. They they don't throw the uh, they don't throw the chairs. But the reason why the chairs are in this bad shape mm. is because they are very very old. Mm. They they uh, very often they jump on them. Of the For what? example, a week ago. Yeah. That that stand was ruined. I mean, on, on that stand there was like uh, almost 700 uh, chairs. Right here. Ruined. Uh, on purpose. Really? Uh, partisan fans, Grobel, as you said. They, Got it. They, they broke and uh, uh, set on fire. Sorry, yeah, just to clarify. It was by accident. Th no? that, that section where the chairs are mission, missing for the uh, Delie, for Delie, um, it was not because that was the, the part where uh, they, were, they were throwing the chairs. That's, uh, I, was, we were, I was explained that that's because they were old and they jump up and down and things like that. But this section over here was the scene where partisan fans ripped out chairs and started causing a riot and, and crazy stuff. And I'll show you now, but it, it looks like those chairs are new. Yes. Yeah. We, we had to change them. They're, so they're saying that they had to change all, all the chairs because partisan fans. Did, you, did they start a fire? Set, uh, they, they set a fire. They, 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 they just break them by, uh, by kicking them. All in all, they, they, they broke. Uh, 880. They more broke 880 less. chairs? Yeah. Wow. More and less. It could have been worse. Right. Because uh, at the time, I don't know, three, four, five years ago, uh, they broke or set on fire, I don't know, like 2,000 to 2,500 uh, chairs. And everything. Wow. So this time it was good. Yeah. By good, you know, you know <laughs> yeah. what I mean. Yeah. Don't, don't get me wrong. Our fans are not angry. Yeah. No, do, do not take this. Yeah. What, what, I'm, what I'm saying now. Please. <laughs> You can't throw. You can't even throw these. So we're walking around uh, the uh, Red Star Stadium right now, and we're in the the fan section. You can see all this graffiti and artwork and everything. Um, it's it's amazing being here and seeing the passion because this is one of the most renowned rivalries in the world. And seeing how it's you know it's ingrained into you when you, when you're born, when you when you grow up here, and that's the, the passion for it. It's something that resonates with me as a soccer football lover. And so being here and experiencing this and having a friend here willing to show me around and, and share this with me is one of the coolest experiences I think I've ever had in my life. So I just want to say thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. 